let's introduce what's the bearings for the behold the ds1 gimbal now you can see the ds1 gimbal okay you can see the pitch we demo the pitch balanced okay you can see the camera can stay in pitch and in position okay that's a, that's a pitch after you did balance you need to screw tight again that's very very important because a lot of vibration has come from here now we show the loading balanced okay mm -hmm. okay that means loading balanced now we show the yaw balanced okay the joystick in this position okay we, we can turn around this side because this mental piece is longer if you move to here maybe broke the arm so couldn't test very well now you can see the joystick is this direction and the arm is this direction okay now we show you the balanced you can see now the yaw is balanced you can see if yaw not balanced the camera maybe go this way or go this way that means not balanced but balanced the yaw the shoes like this that's a very important you can see still balanced right so that's the first important three points for DS1 customer first time use the beholder DS1 you need to adjust very well for the pitch balanced, rolling balanced, and the yaw balanced. Then, after that, we can do the software side calibration or do the PID turning. Now we go to the second class and uh, introduce how to connect the beholder DS1 to the AlexMOS Synchro BGC 2.55 B7 version. Okay, after we connect to the gimbal, okay, we see all the information right now profile 1, profile 2, profile 3, profile 5. Uh, in this video, we introduce how to load the new profile from factory in the first video we introduce how to save the factory profile after you save the profile now you can load new profile into your gimbal system because a lot of customers gimbal sometimes had some problem they want to load the newest software system you know? so and also the new factory file profile maybe gimbal will be much stable you know okay let's go to load okay right now in profile first we load okay you can see this folder behold the newest profile okay we click go inside that's the profile we got from factory so we can reload from profile first first okay open okay profile first was loading then we write into the gimbal click write the second profile we load profile 2 here profile 2 then we write okay then we load profile 3 okay after load right profile 4 okay we load profile 4 right profile 5 we load okay right okay all the five profile was loading to the 
new behold ds1 okay let's go back to profile first okay okay in profile first we go back and we write again because game will start from profile first so we just want to double confirm double sure you know we write the profile first okay in the profile first we can do step you know we can do the gimbal auto test in the model configuration because each gimbal the model is different so the model invert area the tick may be different so we test the new profile loading to for our existing gimbal okay now we need to power on the gimbal power on okay that's very important doing model configuration auto we need to power on the gimbal okay okay when you power on okay keep the gimbal left okay and the balanced now it's balanced okay now we'll kick auto okay gimbal is working now I'm doing auto that's that auto testing the pitch Sometimes, if you want to help to hold the handle, it's always fine. That will be fine. Okay, that's doing the yaw. Okay, all down. You will hear a sound for the auto down. Okay, after down, you see invert is still in the pitch area that's it's great that means you have been game was perfect right now uh, so we can write that into again okay after writing you can hear the sound okay second step profile first oh now we saw the number of the posts go to 23 22 25 we need to change it back because beholder DS1 or MS1, the number of posts or is 22. So we change to 22. This 22. 25, we change to 22 again. Okay, after this, we write again. Okay, the game will write into again. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, this area right now. Also, we have another point. We need to check because this here we can see the skip gyro calibration and the startup we can click okay right again that's the uh, point you know, sometimes some customer you know the gimbal system you know they don't have this appeared but if you have appeared you can click you know. then we check here 22 22 okay invert areas that's the tickets here okay Remember, it's in pitch area. So we go to the profile two, take a look. Okay, profile two is in the pitch ticked, invert, okay? 22, 22, okay, that's correct. So we don't need to do anything. Profile three, uh, that's okay, all is fine. Profile four, it's all is fine, okay? You can only the value changed, but here the same. We just want to make sure profile one, profile two, until profile five, all the same area ticked for the invert. Number four is 22. Okay, number five, we double check. Okay, also the invert is the same like profile one, ticked in this area. Okay, 22, 22. Okay, all is done. Profile five is great. So we go back to profile first. Okay. Now we go to the profile first. Uh, we will 
give some like introduction for the the PID. The PID you can like the value you can increase like each time like uh, you can each each step like uh, you you can decrease or increase uh, p loading pitch or yaw sometimes up to your special requirement you can uh, increase ten each time you know and ninety to go to hundred then you try your gimbal okay this area is the same you know if you want to change you can change you can learning something how to set up PID for Alex Mouse from the YouTuber. YouTuber had a lot of video to introduce you know, to introduce uh, user how to do the PID setting for the gimbal. You can learn it from there and the revise here. After each revise, you need to write. Okay. Now we go to the second step. Okay. Second step, we go to the advanced. Advanced. Okay, advanced area. Okay, you see in the first video introducing we said the frame I mean is below ya. Okay, that's when you double check. That's that's correct, okay. Also we check the RC. RC is for the joystick. That's the joystick speed. You can check okay 30, 25, 30. Okay, we don't need to do revisement. If you want to revise, you can uh, you want to faster some you can change the number here you know. but most time we don't suggest customer to do any change okay that's a joystick you know. a stop that's high means like joystick stop to use the profile first okay mm, okay let's go to the service area this area don't touch them okay but you can reference this information. Profile one in high, middle is profile two, lowest profile five. You double confirm your gimbal. Ah, see, it's the same like this will be fine. Okay, let me go to service. Okay, service. That's the uh, two part. That's the first part. Like the okay, you can see two click is the reset button. That's for the reset button. That's still a mental bar under the ball that's here okay uh, click two times the calibrate the, the gyro you know uh, three clickers go to the profile three four click go to profile four five click go to profile five okay that's the factory default setting you know we don't touch here's the boozy you know that's a sound setting you know for calibration or like uh, arrows alarms you can click it what do you, whatever you want. You know, but some customers they don't like too much sound, so they just don't need. They can unclick, untick this, and the right. Okay. The sound will be turned off. Of the gimbal, you know. Okay, the foreign area. That's in the first video we also introduced. You know, that's the third important information. That's for the gimbal speed uh, like yaw speed roll rolling speed for the gimbal you know. when you use the hand you use foreign mode you can you want to speed up some you know you can adjust here 45 48 45 but this area you know, that's a factory def default setting we don't suggest customer to revise okay that's a several important points you know, we reintroduce again you know for user to understand so right now we can we finish okay we just take a look okay make sure profile two okay profile three okay all is okay profile one go back we're writing to again okay They want to go into the system to do the calibration. That's the camera IMU. Okay. They can go inside. Click here. You can see here have a six point like a camera IMU. That's the ACC, you know. Here's a gyroscope. Gyroscope. Gyroscope, you know, normally you don't, you can 
do the calibration here, you know, first. You know. Then only do the calibration from this section, you know. Uh, before you do the calibration, your camera need to be left and also be balanced and put the left on the table, you know. Right now, okay, let's move the gimbal, okay. Make sure the gimbal is flat and the left on the table. Touch the okay. We'll move a little. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, okay, you can see the green section under the white line. You know. Now you can click reset in gyroscope. Reset and. Uh, Okay, click reset first. Then you see here the green area lower than the white line. You can do the calibrate. Okay, you can see here calibrate. Okay, after this, you can close. This section you don't need to do, okay. The frame I'm use the same thing, you know. If you want to do frame I'm you calibration, gyroscope calibration, you can click here. Okay, let's go to the frame I'm you. You can reset this, reset here. Okay, then do the calibrate. Click. You can see here. Let's do the calibration. Okay. Now we can close. After this, we can write. We must click the write button in profile first. Okay. Disconnect the disconnect the connection you know, with the gimbal, you know. Okay? Disconnect. Okay, that's all done. Now we 